Hey guys, John here with another Terrainify video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the ominous gateway in the broken ground theme. You can find this model on our website, but this is also one of the models included in the welcome pack if you join our Patreon. The list of paint colors and materials used are in the video description. This tutorial assumes that you already know how to use the techniques and materials that I'm going to demonstrate here. So if you need additional instruction on how to use them, you can check out our Terrainify Basics series of videos. Okay, let's get started. I've already assembled and base coated the model with black paint. The next step is to apply a dark brown dry brush over the entire model. There isn't a lot of contrast between the black and dark brown, but when you're finished dry brushing you should see a difference. Make sure to hold the model at different angles so you can reach all parts of it with your brush, including the underside of the arch. Next, we're going to dry brush a medium brown over the rocky base and steps, so everything except for the gateway itself. Note that we're going to paint the flat area at the top of the steps in this color too, which is a little different from how the broken ground theme is normally done. Normally, we're done painting the flat areas after we dry brush the layer of dark brown, and then we apply a layer of flock. For the ominous gateway, we're going to forego the flock so we'll paint the flat area of the base the same as the rest of it. The next step is to dry brush some light tan slash off-white to the same areas that we just dry brushed the medium brown. This color contrasts a lot with the other colors we've used up to this point, so make sure to use a light touch because you can always dry brush more to build up the layer. If you accidentally put too much on, just apply the black base coat again to the areas that need some touch up and start over. Next, we're going to finish painting the gateway. I want the gateway to stand out from the base, so I'm going to paint it gray. First, dry brush a layer of medium gray over the gateway. Remember to rotate the model to get at the hard to reach areas. As much as possible, try to avoid getting gray paint onto the area where the gateway meets the base. The last step for painting is to dry brush a layer of light gray onto the gateway, the same as we did the previous step. The next step for the broken ground theme would normally be to apply a layer of flock. However, we're doing things a little bit differently for this model, so we're going to skip the flock. We will, however, add some super turf. I'm going to pick out some spots in the various nooks, crannies, and crevices to place small clumps of super turf. The idea is to find spots where we can stuff the super turf into so that they stay in place better and are less likely to come off. Finally, I'm going to add some grass tufts the same way that I added the super turf. I'm trying to go for a little visual variety by putting the different sizes and colors together and by mixing the grass tufts with the super turf and adding some in spots by themselves. And that's how you paint and finish the ominous gateway in the broken ground theme. If you're looking for STL files or physical prints of the train pieces shown in this video or fully painted pieces, you can find them at terrainify.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out our other videos. And if you enjoy our work and want to support us, come find us on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com and search for Terrainify. Thanks for watching. See you next time.